I'm back. Um, so I wanted to start with one that I'm going to tell you not to buy um, for bubble bars. This is called Witch's Ball. It's pretty to look at, but that's about it, in my opinion, of course. Um, the reason why I don't like this one, I bought a couple, that's why I still have one, because I used one already. I don't like it because you practically cut up your hand as you're trying to crumble it under the bath, bath water because there's like these little seeds inside. I think they're star anise seeds that have these little thorn things sticking out, and it's painful. And bath time shouldn't be painful. Bath time is for relaxing, not picking thorns out of your skin. So, I do not like the witch's ball. I also don't think there's anything great about the scent. It smells like parsley, <laughs> and there's parsley in it. In fact, those little green flecks there, that's parsley. There's little berries and star anise, so it's got some spicy smell to it, but I just don't like it. Yeah, it's just, it's not a smell that you'd want on your body for the rest of the night. Um, so yeah, Witch's Ball came out around Halloween time. I think it's, you know, being considered a seasonal item. Don't like it, okay? Now, something I do like. What? You know, I, I have this camera, right? And it's nice, it takes videos of me, but loses focus a lot, so I'm sorry about that. I know someone said in a comment on my last video that they were getting dizzy. I'm trying, I added some more lighting, so hopefully it's not that bad. Alright, this is Pop in the Bath. This guy's been around. They're very cute. They come in a couple different colors, like color combinations, if you can get ones that blue flowers and pink flowers and they're very cute and this is a citrusy scented bar it smells like the olive branch which is one of my all-time favorite scents that Lush makes it's got the orange oil in it but it's got um, a bit of a uh, kind of a unisex scent to it because there, there's other ingredients in it besides orange I don't remember them at the moment but you can check out the full ingredient list on the website of course um, but yeah, this is a really nice unisex fragrance. I recommend the olive branch scent if you want to get a dude something from Lush. Like, I just got my dad the olive branch shower gel and put it in his stocking because I remember he smelled the solid perfume on me once and said, oh, that's nice, and oh, that's nice. So I got it for him because I know he won't smell like a girl. All right? Now... Something I have failed to mention in all of my videos so far is how much this stuff costs. So, I just wanted to address that quickly. Um, the bombs, the bombs and the bars run about the same. They all run between five and seven dollars. Which is, I think a little, you know, it's a little pricey considering these guys you only get, well the bombs you get one use out of them, so it's like taking a bath that's five to seven dollars or the bars you get a couple uses but it's for the luxury aspect of it you know the indulgent part and I don't mind spending that to have a nice bath so um the one good pointer though is I shop on the UK site all the time first of all for some odd reason they ship your stuff a lot quicker than the US site the US site takes forever UK site, I get my orders within a week of ordering it. It's amazing. But the other main reason I order from them is stuff is like 35% cheaper. Because the exchange rate's really low right now. It's like, in fact, I checked it today and it's like um, one pound is equal to $1.45. And their prices, if you look, like a bubble bar would say like two fifty dollars for pounds. And if you times that by 1.45, they come out to like three something. So it's a lot cheaper. Buy from the UK, I'm telling you. And they just started doing a more discounted rate for shipping, which is really good because before the shipping was really expensive. Although even with the high shipping, you got still got a discount. And then the soaps, um, those are 
priced by the pound, but for like a normal size bar, like a, you know, your basic bar size, they run again from about six to nine dollars, depending on the soap, because a lot of those, um, those vary more because some have more expensive ingredients in them. All right, so moving back to bars. So now I cover the prices there. I feel better. I feel better about that. This is called Candy Cane, and this is a Christmas item, of course. And this one smells very similar to the Creamy Candy. I wouldn't say they're the same. I think this one you get a little bit, like a very, very, very faint candy cane smell in it, but it's not going to smell like minty, minty, like you would think from the name. It's a, I would say, a creamy candy with a splash of candy cane. Just, just a splash. It's nice. I like it. You like it. All right, now, now for a retro bar. Oh, and this one, oh man, I gotta use these because I bought these over the summer and I think they're starting to dry out and this one just totally crumbled into nothingness. It used to be really pretty, it's called Hollywood and it used to have, it was white and it had a little gold star on the top that's broken, sorry. It doesn't matter that it's broken for me because I mean you're going to crumble it up anyways but I can't show you how pretty it is. Anyways, the Hollywood one's a little pricey. It's one of the more expensive bars. I think this one's like nine bucks US, not UK though. Um, this is a sexy smell. Um, you've got rose in here, sandalwood, jasmine, all of those aphrodisiac smells. So it's very nice. Um, I want to apologize. For my last video, the first one on bubble bars, because I had the volume turned up, I guess, too much, so there's a lot of annoying feedback. Sorry about that. I was listening to it after, and I didn't feel like making it all over again. You can deal, right? This one should be better. All right. Oh, I'm out of time, I think. Oh, maybe not. I think I have time for one more. This is called Happy. Happy bubble bar. Happy. This is happy. This is for happy bats. This is a retro bar. The colors vary. I have one, I have this one that's like a very, very, very pale blue, and then I have another one that's like bright turquoise. I don't know. I guess it depends on who makes it. This has got a citrusy smell to it, kind of similar to the olive branch. Um, it's got orange blossom, sandalwood. Gardenia, those and tangerine. Those are the main smells for that one. It's a very nice smell. I like it. Very refreshing. All right, now I think my time's up. So I will catch you around the corner for part three. Okay.